G'day all. I wanted to start this week's update by giving well-deserved congratulations to Deputy Chief Officer Greg Patterson and our entire training team. As more than 400 members from 111 brigades have now completed the low voltage fuse removal training package. And upon completion of the training, CFA will have 4,800 firefighters right across CFA trained in low voltage fuse removal. This is a significant investment in safety and training of our people. On this theme of safety and training, this month our Safe Working at Heights program will begin pilot testing with selected brigades. Stay tuned for more on this to come. Last week, I travelled to several districts to discuss my new role. This provided me with a fantastic opportunity to hear from our people face to face and engage in discussions on some of the more localised matters within your communities. It also provided me with an opportunity to update our people on some of the wider organisational matters and answer questions on matters such as reform. This also included the planned executive realignment and how that will benefit our corporate operational capability. With more information on this is available on our CFA intranet. I have many more visits scheduled over the next few weeks and will continue to get out and about as often as I can. So I look forward to seeing more of you when I am out on the road next. Many of you have signed up for the 2019 Melbourne Firefighter Stair Climb and it's only a month away. So if you haven't registered yet, make sure you do. This is our chance to step up to fight depression and PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder that affects emergency service personnel, raising money for the Black Dog Institute and Lifeline. Finally, nominations are open for the Australian Fire Service Medal, the AFSM, as part of the 2020 Queen's Birthday Honours. Awarded for distinguished service to the fire services across Australia, so please nominate someone you know who deserves to be recognised for their exceptional contribution to their communities in Victoria, across Australia and even internationally. That's all for this week, so thank you for your time.